Hi everyone, I'm Omar Fabs and you are watching Play On Life Lessons from the Field made just for you by Bright Rock, the company that loves rugby and loves change. I'm here at the High Performance Centre in Belleville, the home of our local heroes, the DHL Stormers. My mission today is to find out what exactly do the DHL Stormers do? Yeah, I know they play rugby, but I want to find out more about the game from the boys themselves. And my special advisor today is Marvin Ori. He is a forward and he plays the position of lock. So Marvin, thank you so much for talking to me today. Maybe You're you welcome. can uh, explain to me, what exactly does a lock do? Probably the primary role for, for a lock in rugby is to do well in the lineouts and, and, to, and to scrum. And in the rugby there's a term they say all the dirty work. So, okay. so that's pretty much <laughs> all the work that a lock does, yeah. Okay, so the game of rugby is very much like a family. You know, each one has a role to play and you have to play together to win. Mm. So what do you think is the secret of teamwork? at the DHL Stormers? In my opinion, I would say sacrifice is the is a one most important thing for, mm -hmm. for um, any group of people or any team to, to do well. Um, and by sacrifice, I mean you have to sacrifice all your personal goals and, and all your personal feelings at times to, for, for the greater good of the team and then um, to know your job and, and, and to do it to the best of your ability. In rugby, you've got to think on your feet all the time, you know, because that ball just bounces this way and that way. So how do you manage all of that, you know, all these sudden changes when you're on the field? How, how do you cope with that? I think in a rugby match, change is also, is also a constant, you know, so you have to consistently monitor how the plan is going and um, whatever is going well, you continue doing that. Can you tell me what was the most memorable moment in your rugby career? One of the life-changing moments for me was back when I was a 13-year-old um, a 13-year-old kid in, in, in Bala. So so at that age I didn't I, I wasn't aware that there was a Western Province junior teams. Um, for, for obvious reasons, you know, we, we weren't exposed to, to too many things and mm -hmm. then when the opportunity came to to go to the trials I was very excited and, and luckily I, I, I made that team and and um, yeah I think probably the first time for me uh, of pulling the, the blue and white Duke jersey over my head as a 13 year old boy was quite special for me. Um, I think probably what made it special is that I realized it, it was life changing for me mm. because then I, I, I went into I went to a different school and obviously a lot of pride in, in representing the region you know not many people get to get to wear the the blue and white tube Absolutely, jersey yes. as a 13 year old so that was quite special. In my team at home I am the captain of the squad. My husband thinks he's the captain, but he isn't really. So tell me more about your family. Who is the boss in your family and who? how do you work together as a team? <laughs> yeah, I don't know if it's all husbands, but I also like to think I'm the uh, captain and the boss at home, <laughs> but it's definitely not the case. Is it? Yeah, no, me and my wife, we, we, we both operate together. Maybe I think I'm the boss, but in reality, <laughs> she's the boss as well. So, um, but yeah, we try to work together as, yes. as, as as best and as and as well we can. Fabulous. So, what is the biggest lesson that you've learned from rugby? How to cope with change? I'm now in my in my third union in South Africa. I've, I've played in, in Pretoria for the Bulls and in Johannesburg for for the Lions and now for the Stormers. So I've had dramatic changes in my okay. life. Obviously, as a kid growing up in Cape Town, playing for Western Province, then leaving the home, going to Pretoria. I was in Gauteng for about ten years. Um, so, so I think the the one thing rugby has taught me is to is to be open-minded um, to to the ability to adapt to whatever circumstances you 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 are in and um, yeah whatever whenever the opportunity comes to to improve and to um, to to improve yourself and to improve as a rugby player, I think you must firstly be ready and and um, be open-minded to 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 take on that challenge. Wow. 
Thank you so much for talking to me, Marvin. I mean, you've really inspired me with your story and you know how you guys work together as a team. So re I'm really honored to have spoken to you today. Yeah. Thank you so yeah. much. Thank you so much okay, for having me. I great. hope you have a better idea of how the storm is operating. Yes, and I think I'm going to start coming and what, checking you out in some games. <laughs> you know, see, awesome. see how you do it. Yeah, so. awesome. Thank okay, you so much. Okay, thanks a lot. For having me. So thank you everyone for watching and catch me again next time on Play On, Life Lessons from the Field made just for you by Brightrock, the company that loves rugby and loves change. Bye!